Hello folks, YouTubers, shortwave listeners, ham radio operators, ladies and gentlemen, friends and followers, or people who just accidentally took the wrong exit and got stuck by my channel. This is your nerdy friend Uncle Gunther DK5 ONV on a set. Uh, sorry, on a Sunday afternoon, and uh, K0KLB, Kevin, he just uh, gave me some input, we discussed that before, on YouTube, hey everyone, and hey, hi <laughs> Kevin, uh, you, you gave me a big smile on my face, um, I'm gonna show you something real quick, so, uh, um i've been in a conversation with uh, kevin before not on air we've been just uh, messaging along on on uh, youtube what i was thinking of a couple weeks ago was you see that fire letter down here this is about total length i would say this could be 57 58 feet so um Right down there, just follow this bar, and there is a screw. I don't know if you can see that through the, through the rail, through that hole. But if I take a piece of solid grounding wire or coax cable RG8, um, and I put like a ring terminal on one end, and, and tighten this up to one of those bolts right here, those nuts down there as another one, or using using an uh, alligator clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I try not to laugh. So I already been playing with that thought, and then I would have a. Scooby-Doo, super duper, multi-band, vertical, let's see how many elements, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just come on, stop Uncle Gunther. But that would work. I know this for sure, because Kevin, he showed us, there's a proof. He, he was using a silo as an antenna, he was using a bell even farm machines and all kinds of other stuff all the metal stuff if you hook that up i mean it won't be resonant but that's what we got an antenna tuner for you know what i'm talking about so, so how, how much fun could this be i mean i just want to run a few tests i mean i'm not continuously transmitting because um yeah, I got uh, some people and, uh, you know, yeah, that's unfortunately the way it is. Uh, if this would be my house, that would be paradise for ham radio. So it's a high-rise building. Ah, what? It's maybe a little bit too much high-rise building. It's an overestimate, but it, had, it has eight floors. And this is quite some height, you know. Okay, I hope everyone is doing great out there. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone having a beautiful Sunday or a happy Monday morning depending on wherever you may be this is your friend Uncle Gunther from his cave at home and oh let me see who was that I don't hear that much inside because of local interference this is my receive antenna it's a vertical bazooka made by PKW in Italy United America 6 Hotel Bravo on 15 band is pretty noisy but that comes from uh, all the man-made noise here in uh, the local area that's unfortunately the way it is and uh, I had to take down my uh, my full-size Delta loop wire antenna 
because they built that house brand new four years ago and uh, there have been more of those garage spots over there and a lot of these huge trees and they've been cutting it down they've been whacked it they whacked it down and that's why my delta loop antenna had to go unfortunately that's the way it is hey everyone thanks for stopping by my channel hit me a hit me a uh, give me a thumbs up <laughs> hit the subscribe button and uh drop me a comment down in the comment section i will answer it as soon as i can sincerely yours bk5 onv bye for now